Do you find a gator in a size 13? Just send oh, it back to Atlanta. That's, that's not that's right. That's how I like my gators. Oh, <laughs> no, no. We, we love that they're in their habitat. Guys, thank you for bringing to attention to a, a, a little spot of, a, of America that maybe you haven't heard of before. And it's beautiful there right now, Henderson, Louisiana. Sunshine in the 70s today. Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Seal Colors, the colorful way to coat, seal, and stop leaks fast. Flex Seal Colors have the same sealing power as the original, now in vibrant colors that can transform and protect virtually anything. Unlike paint, Flex Seal Colors thick liquid dries to a watertight, flexible, rubberized coating. Just a quick shot fills cracks and holes, stopping the toughest leaks while remaining completely flexible. It's actually liquid rubber in bold, beautiful colors. Ideal for arts and crafts, sealing outdoor decorative items, even projects and hobbies. Forget thin, runny spray paints. Flex Seal's thick rubberized formula covers fast with just one pass. To show you the incredible strength of Flex Seal, we took this old pickup truck, coated it in Flex Seal colors, and turned it into the Flex Seal submarine. Red, blue, and green, it's the coolest sub you've ever seen. And the inside is completely dry. Full speed ahead. Hey, what are you looking at? We Flex Sealed everything you see here. Imagine what you could do with Flex Seal Colors. Go from dingy and old to colorful and bold. Get Flex Seal Colors for just $19.99. But wait, we're going to double your order and send you two cans. Plus, we'll include a handy can of Flex Shot. The easy way to caulk, bond, and seal. You get two cans of Flex Seal Colors and a handy can of Flex Shot, all for just $19.99. You're going to love Flex Seal Colors. Here's how to order. To order Flex Seal Colors, call 1-800-827-0680 or go to GetFlexSeal.com. That's 1-800-827-0680. This offer is not available in stores. Call or go online now. Are you a man over 40 and feeling tired, losing muscle, have less romantic drive? Then you need Ageless Mayo with an ingredient clinically shown to increase free testosterone levels. Ageless Mayo is now available at these fine retailers. Currently in our area, 78 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, sun and clouds mixed. High, 80. Winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, some passing clouds. Low, 68. Winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Sunday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. High, 79. Winds east northeast at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Welcome back on the Saturday morning. Hey, it's the first Saturday in May. Time for the ponies to run the Kentucky Derby this afternoon. 624 Eastern time is uh, the call to the post temperatures. Before then, getting the mid to maybe even upper 70s before they cool off to the lower 70s for the race, and it will be dry. So again, the weather not impacting negatively the horses or even uh, the spectators for this. So again, they call this the fastest two minutes in sports, <laughs> and the weather definitely should be cooperating. And I do forecast the horses that are used to that great weather conditions, mm -hmm. they'll probably come out first, second, or third today. All right, and you know there's a lot of money on the line. Oh, Millions yeah. of dollars are bet on the Derby for that two minutes of greatness, right? In fact, the odds of the winner are determined by a team of experts with decades of experience, and our Al Roker got a chance to go behind the scenes and learn more about the science behind handicapping horses. 
Days at Churchill Downs start well before dawn. Handicapper Marty McGee is up before the sun, trying to get the inside track on the derby contenders who'll run the track. Are you going to give the jock any instructions? No, he's a Hall of Famer. This is Marty's 42nd consecutive derby. As a writer for the Daily Racing Form, he's looking at all the factors that can turn a world-class racehorse into a derby champion. One of them is class, another is speed. Another is consistency. Weather is very much a factor in trying to figure out who's going to win a race. A horse's past performance weighs heavily into the odds of every race. A horse, even if it's not on the Churchill track, somewhere else has put in a, you know, a very bad performance on a wet track, then I will certainly drop them down the list. Good horses should be able to run over any kind of surfaces. Some may like it more than others, but you know, I think at this level, they better be able to handle everything. Thanks to a forecast of sun and 70s on this first Saturday in May, it's going to be a fight to the finish. For one talent in recent history, and that suits the handicappers just fine. The track will be fast, the sun will be out. The uh, horses generally don't like it too hot, and it won't be. Place your bets. You don't have to know everything about bloodlines and pedigree. Even the pros sometimes just feel it. Basically, it's a lot of intuition and hunch and getting lucky at the end. I'm Al Roker for the Weather Channel. All right, we have uh, a beautiful shot overhead. This is what it looks like. I believe Aerial this is live, Yeah, too. I think this is live. Hey, so there's look more at all parking the available, so I'd park more right there. Parking. Wow, where is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> I heard it's an all-day party, but maybe not. It is, but uh, weather but should be fantastic. Yeah, you have great day sunshine all there. all week long across the area. <laughs> well, horse lovers have more than racing ahead of them at the Kentucky Derby, of course. There's food, of course, some new twists in the classic adult beverages. Here's, uh, here's a modern take on mint and juleps from our Derby mixologist. Hi, I'm Chris Morris, the master distiller at the Wood Reserve Distillery, and I'm joined in making a $1,000 Wood Reserve Mint Julep this year by Jody Nichols. So we're going to sort of tag team because this year the $1,000 Mint Julep is a little different. It's not your typical mint julep. It's more of a contemporary mint julep actually created by a bartender for us. So you ready to get to work? Let's go. Okay. This year we're using chocolate mint and we're going to put Yum. some chocolate mint in the bottom of our cup and I'm going to put some chocolate mint in a cocktail shaker, okay. Jody. Now to your cup, I'm going to add crushed ice and you're okay. going to Garnish that up for us while I'm making okay. the rest of the drink. Let's put the mint in. Let's get those in okay. there. All right. And our, put our gold straw our in there. gold straw and mint. And I'm going to put some wonderful coconut palm sugar syrup. That sounds good. In the cocktail shaker. And then this year we're using Wood Reserve Double Oaked some Kentucky of my Straight Bourbon into the cocktail shaker. And we're going to shake. Doesn't need a whole lot. Okay. Just to bruise that mint. And then I'm going to pour over that crushed ice, and you're going to top off this unique julep with some candied orange and lemon slices. Look at this. Look at that. This is like drinking liquid caramel. Excellent. And, and then what do I have here? A little powdered sugar to dust. In the wind, no less. Oh, wonderful. And there we go. And there we have this year's $1,000 mint julep. It's for charity, of course. Well, and, for charity. And this year, our charity is the Wounded Warriors Equestrian oh. Program. For isn't, charity. Isn't that good? This program powered by Ram Trucks. Guts. Glory. Ram. Strings. Wild like the wind in the tall pine trees. I got roots and I got wings. Andrew, Rita, Sandy. Meet Chris, Jackie, Joe. Minor damage or major disaster. When you need us most, we're there. State Farm. We're a force of nature, too. 
Shopping for the family used to cause a lot of stress between me and my budget. But thanks to Finger Hut, we have found our happy place. Life is definitely sweeter. At FingerHut.com, we got approved to shop with low monthly payments, over 200,000 items with brand names like Samsung, Dyson, DeWalt, and with great family stuff like this Samsung TV. And even our yoga mats. All you got to do is click on over to FingerHut.com and get the credit you deserve to get all kinds of great stuff for the family. Weather Channel's most watched original program. And it just hit us. Is back. This is just the beginning of what's to come. You're driving along, having a perfectly nice day, when out of nowhere, a pickup truck slams into your brand new car. One second, it wasn't there, and the next second, boom. You had your first accident. Now you have to make your first claim. So you talk to your insurance company, and boom. You're blindsided for a second time. They won't give you enough money to replace your brand new car. Don't those people know you're already shaken up? Liberty Mutual's new car replacement will pay for the entire value of your car, plus depreciation. Call 1-888-731-2166. And for drivers with accident forgiveness, Liberty Mutual won't raise your rates due to your first accident. Switch to Liberty Mutual Insurance and you could save up to $423. Call Liberty Mutual for a free quote today at 1-888-731-2166. See car insurance in a whole new light. Liberty Mutual Insurance. .com. Currently in our area, 78 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, sun and clouds mixed. High, 80. Winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, some passing clouds. Low, 68. Winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Sunday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. High, 79. Winds east northeast at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. It is going to be an absolutely fabulous weather weekend up and down the East Coast. Live look at Virginia Beach, we've got Nags Head, North Carolina, even Kiowa Island, South Carolina, all areas impacted by the coastal low yesterday. All three cities seeing nothing but sunshine today and tomorrow, pushing our highs back in the 70s. But we're also watching the potential for, dare I say, tropical yeah. trouble as we head towards the middle and latter part of this coming week. It say it ain't so, but it's 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 so. It got our attention as well when yeah. we saw something brewing on the model. So we kind of want to lay it out for you, kind of show you what we're looking at and why. Yeah, we may be looking at something off the southeast coast as we get into the middle part of the week. So. Here's the, here's the thing, it's not too early for this type of activity to happen. Now with that said, let's talk about the forecast. You hear a lot about these hurricane tropical forecasts every year. Well, when you compare it to average, we have the Colorado State University, their forecast alongside the weather channels. And you see everyone's kind of calling for the lower numbers, below average. And you will ask any meteorologist here, these numbers, I mean, they mean something, but they don't really mean what it impact, how it impacts us. And it only takes one. Uh, even uh, a below average season. So keep that in mind. Now, this is what we're looking at over the next few days. We're gonna kind of piece it through the various layers of the atmosphere and what may be leading to further development. Way upstairs, the jet stream level, marginal for tropical development. What that means is you don't have a lot of shear, a lot of gusty winds that could tear apart a developing tropical system. Go a little bit lower. What we're looking at here, these colors are enhanced spin. Okay, we've got that going, uh, again, off the southeast coast as we get into the 
middle part of next week towards Thursday with that low moving in. Then you get all the way downstairs to the surface and it does look like we have a low pressure developing there too and they're kind of stacked up there which again kind of signals uh, tropical features. Then you have the water temperature. You know we look at ingredients that go into feeding tropical systems and they absolutely need warm moist air, need warm water and we have that as well. Temperatures are into the upper 70s, the sea surface temperatures, uh, slightly above average for this time of year. All of that going in together, this again is the map that we're also concerned with, right? We have a front coming down uh, through Florida, but we already have a uh, boundary here that hasn't moved much, a stationary front. And at the early part of the season and the end of a tropical season, it's a lot of times these boundaries, these fronts, can serve as a focus, a little starting point for an area of low pressure. And it does look like that's uh, where we think it's going to begin. So along that stationary front, you get a little ripple. It comes back as a warm front that uh, low develops. Now, when it comes to the models themselves, we have two versions that we look at, uh, and one of them is a little bit weaker, one a little bit stronger, that stronger low. Uh, regardless, it's gonna be close enough that we could be looking at, at the very least, some beach erosion, some rip currents along the southeast coast. But keep in mind, it is not too early to start looking at the tropics. Are you sending your kids to school with an allergy medicine that may make them drowsy? Only Children's Claritin provides non-drowsy 24-hour allergy relief. And it's the number one pediatrician recommended non-drowsy brand. In class and out, your kids can live Claritin clear. Once we were dreamers, adventurers set out to discover new lands, new people, new ways. Once we were great explorers in search of hidden treasure, secret hideouts, magic lands. The treasure is still here and waiting to inspire a new generation of dreamers. Come uncover the riches and bounty of pure Michigan. Your trip begins at Michigan.org. The amazing, delicious cinnamon and sugar taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch and cold milk. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Crave those crazy squares. True Green presents The Yardleys. Dad! Sorry. Spring is on. Start your True Green lawn plan today. True Green. Live life outside. He says she's an undisciplined overwaterer. She claims he's a cruel underwaterer. With Miracle Grow Moisture Control Potting Mix, plants only get water when they need it. Fight ended or shifted. Miracle Grow. Life starts here. Mario had a job to do, but his tool selection wouldn't do. Luckily, the nearby AutoZone and a free loaner torque wrench did the trick. It left Mario feeling 10 feet tall. It's called the Zone, and we'll help get you there. Hi, I'm Brenda, and this is day one of my HydroxyCut transformation. We're gonna live free. I lost 37 pounds. Look at the new me. HydroxyCut is America's number one selling weight loss supplement brand. Lose weight your way. Mix and match gummies, tablets, and drink mix. HydroxyCut has completely changed my life. I can finally fit into the clothes that I love. HydroxyCut lets you lose weight your way and look for new HydroxyCut appetite control to help curb hunger for hours. In a matter of seconds, your life can change. We have kids still in the school. And it just hit us. This was it. The Weather Channel's most watched original program is back. Things are just going everywhere. It was a nightmare. And then it was silent. This is just the beginning of what's to come. It is the royal baby girl, <laughs> and we've got the coverage here on the Weather Channel. Uh, didn't, didn't we have a revolution? But we're still listen, um, <laughs> it, the, the, new, the, the new little princess, by the way, uh, mom and baby are doing great, so that's the good news, that's the great news. But, they, but the new baby shares a birthday with the Weather Channel, and we want to say happy birthday, too, to the Weather Channel. 33 years on air today. So when the royal baby girl is 33 years old, the Weather Channel will be 66. That's true. That's true. That's the only weather connection we've made with the royal baby. <laughs> oh, my baby. gosh, Paul. But yet we have a <laughs> forecast. Yes. <gasps> Look at this. Baby, baby showers. showers. Oh. 
<laughs> but you know what, Maria? You're the only princess I want on oh, the Weather Channel. Oh, see, you just saved it. And I was going to say, maybe <laughs> I'll suggest Paula as a name oh. for the new baby princess. There you go. Uh, cloudy skies coming back <laughs> here with showers for tomorrow, Tuesday, and what Wednesday. What are they called? Umbrellas? Is it uh, umbrella or bumper shooter? What are they called? Oh, I don't know. Bumper shoot. Okay. Bumper shoot. There we go. There I somehow connected weather. <laughs> Stretch. There we go. We're going to bring it back and talk about the wonders of weather here. Um, you know, we always like to show pictures and things that make us go, hmm. This is, happens to be a live shot. Mount Washington, New Hampshire. Plenty of sun in the northeast. You know, it's been chilly, but you got the blue skies. We love it. Yeah, you can definitely see the presidential range. That's in fact, right. I was in uh, Maine on a ski trip this spring, and you can clearly see Mount Washington and all the presidential range from there. I mean, it's a gorgeous place to be and a gorgeous weekend to sightsee across New England. Mm -hmm. Even here in Tennessee, the Great Mountain, uh, Great, Great Smoky Mountain National Park, 62 and sunny right now. We're heading back to the 70s today. Chance of storms come in as we head towards Monday. And we saw some amazing Mimatis cloud pictures uh, from the severe weather that we saw last week. This, is that amazing? Texas, or I should say Virginia. We'll time it. True Green presents the Yardleys. Drives down the lane. Oh, come on! Come on, he's in the pink there! Up off the glass and hey. This is more than a lawn. This is a True Green lawn. Live life outside with True Green, America's number one lawn care company. Spring is on. Start your True Green lawn plan today. True Green, live life outside. After years of being treated like she was invisible, it occurred to Mindy she might actually be invisible. But Mindy was actually not invisible. Ooh, what are you doing? Can you see me? Yeah. She had just always been treated that you way. You don't look at me like that. There are worse things than an attractive woman touching your body. Okay. Join the nation that sees you as a priority. Nationwide is on your side. What average underwear feels like. What Duluth trading buck naked underwear feels like. Duluth trading buck naked underwear feels like wearing nothing at all. No pinch, no stink, no sweat. Get a pair only at DuluthTrading.com. Currently in our area, 78 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, sun and clouds mixed. High 80, winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, some passing clouds, low 68, winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Sunday, intervals of clouds and sunshine, high 79, winds east northeast at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Hey there, good Saturday morning to you, and welcome to Weekend Recharge. I'm Paul Goodlow. And I'm Maria La Rosa. For the next hour, we want you to sort of unplug. We, we call it getting lost in the weather. Just set the cell phone aside, set the tablet or the, or the iPad just for another hour or so. We've got a lot to get you caught up on. Yeah, because we already know the royal baby has been born. It's a girl. You know, no name, but it's... No more information, just I, weather information. It's important to you. I love it. I love We're it. We're going to entertain you for the next hour, guaranteed. All right, let's uh, talk about a few other things that we've got our eyes on. Right now, tropical trouble may be brewing in the Atlantic Ocean nearly a month before the season officially begins. The potential exists, though, for a tropical storm to form off the southeast coast. A lot of mystery, a few scenarios. We're going to walk you through it all. Oh, man, 
talking about the dynamite. We're talking about thunderstorms. The fuse is now lit on a new round of severe thunderstorms from Texas all the way to the Great Lakes. We're going to break down the timing and the impacts day by day. All right, let's give you that snapshot. Oh, hey there, Reynolds and Kate. I'm sorry. Hey, guys. Yeah, every, you know, I, you know what, over the last couple of days, every single turn in the road, every bend in the swamp has presented a brand new and exciting adventure. Right. This yeah. has been an amazing start to our road trip. We are only up to two thirds of the way done, but we are still in the Atchafalaya Basin. It is a Next gorgeous time. part of the country. We're bringing it to you. We're encouraging you to get out and enjoy the great outdoors. Yeah, we got that for and you. Speaking of unplugging, mm -hmm. oh, we're unplugged in the swamp. <laughs> unplugged. No, our cell phones are down. I can guarantee you that. Let's get back to Maria. Want anything going into the swamp, permanently donating your phone to the swamp. So great. We'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Have had great weather for this uh, for the It's Amazing Out There tour. We're happy to report, but the next few days may be a little bit trickier here. So let's get you caught up on some of the big stories that we're following. One of the big ones, first taste of summer. Yeah, we're going for it. We're skipping over spring, calling it summer from the Midwest to the Northeast. That means a return to the 70s and in some cases getting pretty close to that 80 degree mark. We'll talk about that. Also, the severe weather is ramping up. The threat beginning tomorrow on one side and then another round as we get into the rest of the early part of next week. So a few days there and then we can't take our eyes off what may be brewing in the tropics. We're calling it tropical trouble, Paul, because uh, the, the models want to give it something. That's for sure. That's for sure. Definitely impacts will be felt even in places like this. Holden Beach, North Carolina. Good morning to you. We're about uh, 50 miles up the coast from Moidal Beach, South Carolina. We're looking for a high to push into the low to mid 70s today. And what a great day compared to what happened yesterday with a coastal low. It was kind of windy, it was kind of cloudy, and it was damp at times. A lot more rain uh, farther north than Holden Beach, but still, as Maria mentioned, we're tracking something here in the tropics. Right now, there is nothing. We're watching a cold front push towards the South Florida area. In fact, our winds in Florida are northerly today. Very little rain expected even in Florida statewide today. But as we head through this weekend, front stalls out and it festers with all this moisture. Eventually, we'll start seeing a low develop. And as that low starts to form, will it be weak? Will it be strong? Will it have more tropical characteristics or a hybrid of uh, subtropical? We don't know yet, but the bottom line is it will be impacting the uh, southeast coastline. I'm talking about North Carolina, South Carolina, even Georgia and Florida with a combination of some rain, some wind and some high surf. That is a guarantee the impacts will be there. What it's going to be called, what's causing it, that mystery is still out there. All right, and so we've got our eyes on that for sure. Our eyes on Louisiana too, because it's amazing out there. Tour is in full swing. Yeah, Kate Parker, Reynolds Wolf have been road tripping across the South, showing you some of the amazing places this country has to offer. Kate and Reynolds have been on the Louisiana swamp this morning, and guys, it can't beat the weather. It is just absolutely beautiful out there for you. Yeah, we're bugging out right now. <laughs> you see our little friend that just came to visit us? A lot of creatures here in the swamp, a lot of them. This is just one of them. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a beautiful part of the country, somewhere Reynolds that I've never been. Yeah, uh, it's, have, it's, a new, it's a new experience for all of us. Yeah, the Atchafalaya Basin, I mean, if you don't know, I mean, I'm sure you're sitting there going, what is the Atchafalaya Basin if you're in Philadelphia this morning? It is the largest swamp in the United States, in Louisiana, and it is breathtakingly mm -hmm. beautiful. Look at these cypress trees, it is hundreds of years old. You know, not only is it amazing, and not only is it filled with cypress trees, it's filled with a lot of pine trees. Because believe it or not, only 30% of the of the basin itself is is, is really uh, water. The rest of it is relatively dry land. It's on the dry land. We have a bunch of different mammals. You have things yeah. like well, not only people, which we hear some this morning, yeah. but also we have some black bears. Uh, uh -huh. You know, you were talking earlier about how we have uh, uh, a lot of uh, people that obviously frequent the place. Well, a lot of the birds do the same thing. They love to migrate their way here. We're having a little bit of our own migration this morning. <laughs> Fellow uh, humans coming in to you take know, a look at the sites. You were saying that this is mostly uh, land versus versus water. Yep. But here's the thing. Bring it. This is at flood stage. So any of these creatures that maybe like the sun, they're having a hard time finding yep. a spot. But we still found them. We found a baby, a couple of little gators this morning. Is it okay if I call one a baby? Because it makes me feel better. I mean, they're I cute like babies, but yeah. they're like five or six year olds. They yeah. could probably take off your arm. You're right. And you know, they even get bigger than that. How, how big do they get? We could get up to 18 feet with these things. And they've been seen 16 to 18 feet right here in this swamp. So big ones, they grow forever. These prehistoric beasts, it's fascinating to be here in their territory, in their home turf.
Absolutely. Sometimes they pop out. Well, they do pop out. And when they do pop out, they enjoy the sunshine, which we've had plenty of over right. the last couple of days. Hopefully you're going to have it in your world. Uh, but my gosh, the weather's great. The trip has been beautiful and it's not over yet. It's not over yet. We're expecting more sunshine tomorrow because we're going out to the Crawfish Festival in Brobridge, Louisiana, you guys. Right. It's, not craw it's not craw mamas, it's craw dads. Craw dads yeah. and all those mud bags. We're going to be eating them. We're going to be celebrating them. You're going to love this. It's going to be too much fun. Yep, we can recharge. It's coming up right after this. This program powered by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. Strings. Wild like the wind in the tall pine trees. I got roots and I got wings. Now at Boston Market, new slow braised pulled pork. So tender, it falls apart. Topped with zesty barbecue or garlic citrus sauce. A bold new taste from the slow roasting experts at Boston Market. Six smoky hours, one tasty dish. Slow braised pulled pork, now at Boston Market. True Green presents The Yardleys. Dad! Sorry. Spring is on. Start your True Green lawn plan today. True Green. Live life outside. Your heart is precious. One of many ways to support its health is new True Heart from One A Day. It's the only heart health supplement with ingredients to both help lower bad cholesterol and support healthy blood pressure, and also includes CoQ10. Try new True Heart. Introducing New Flonase Allergy Relief Nasal Spray. This changes everything. New Flonase outperforms a leading allergy pill, so you will inhale life. When we breathe in allergens, our bodies react by overproducing six key inflammatory substances that cause our symptoms. Most allergy pills only control one substance. Flonase controls six, and six is greater than one. So roll down your windows, hug your pet, dust off some memories, make new ones. New Flonase. Six is greater than one. This changes everything. Your relationship with your dog is pure. It's innocent. It's work, but it's perfect. You wouldn't trade it for the world. So protect your dog with Trifexis. Trifexis is the monthly beef-flavored tablet that prevents heartworm disease, kills fleas, and prevents infestations, and treats and controls hook, round, and whipworm infections. Treatment with fewer than three monthly doses after exposure to mosquitoes may not provide complete heartworm prevention. The most common adverse reactions were vomiting, depression, and itching. Serious adverse reactions have been reported following concurrent extra-label use of ivermectin with spinosad, one of the components of Trifexis. Prior to administration, dogs should be tested for existing heartworm infection. You'll take it all, the good and the bad, because that's what makes your relationship irreplaceable. Protect your dog all year long with the three-in-one power of Trifexis, available by prescription only. Talk to your veterinarian about how to protect every second you share together. Clearance weekend is happening now at Men's Warehouse. Right now, select clearance suits are only $149.99. Select clearance non-iron dress shirts are $29.99. Plus, buy one, get one free on even more. Only at Men's Warehouse. All you got to do is show us something that's amazing out there. We love to see your pictures. Every picture you share, we'll try to share it as well right here on AMHQ. Currently in our area, 78 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, partly cloudy, high 80, winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, low 68, winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Sunday, partly cloudy skies, high 79, winds east northeast at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Where are you 
forget your weather matters. This is a large and dangerous tornado. Real local. We are live in Oklahoma, Arkansas. Real accurate. This one's going to have some precipitation with it. Real experts. Wow, that's the leading edge of the thunderstorm. This is basically what makes the Weather Channel. Keep the Weather Channel on. Here at the Weather Channel. The Weather Channel is out in full force today. Only the Weather Channel. Newly released video of the Nepal earthquake shows a monument collapsing in the middle of a busy roundabout. The 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit a week ago. We now know that more than 6,600 people have been killed, more than 14,000 injured, and many still are unaccounted for. Efforts are ongoing to retrieve victims from the rubble, and aid is finally arriving in a village near the epicenter. You can see the current weather conditions there on the right side of your screen. As we head throughout the day, temperatures move from the 50s to the 60s. Even the 70s and 80s is the forecast tomorrow. Again, uh, there are quite a few hours ahead of uh, U.S. time, but uh, definitely temperatures will range from the low 80s to the 50s. So people still uh, not in their homes, not having electricity or power or shelter is definitely concerned the weather and what the forecast will be for several days. If you do think about the survivors now, they some of them do have nowhere to go. Their homes are either destroyed or they're actually just afraid to go inside. And one organization is helping by giving people cover. Here to show us is Shelterbox USA Interim Executive Director Alan Monroe. And first of all, what is Shelterbox USA? What type of organization and what do you guys do? First, thanks for having us on the show today. Uh, Shelterbox is an international disaster relief charity. We specialize in providing emergency shelter and supplies to families who are displaced after earthquakes, tsunamis, even conflicts such as that experiencing in uh, Syria right now. We specialize in providing the kind of equipment that you see here, basic essentials uh, to get yourself back under shelter after a major disaster. And it all fits in a box. Tell me uh, specifically about what you guys are doing on the ground right now in Nepal. Right. Well, we have three teams on the ground right now and more on the way. Uh, we also have about 3,500 uh, shelter kits coming in to help families that have been d displaced. The types of aid right here, obviously the hallmark of what we do is the big disaster relief tent here. Uh, we have, uh, you know, it can be for an extended family to you know, get them back under shelter. And what's keeping me up at night right now is those, those horrible temperatures mm. and the rains are going to be coming in. And, you know, hyperthermia can set in, especially if you're sick, if you're wounded, if you're elderly. So we're working as quickly as possible to help as many families as we can. And the tents and all these supplies, they all fit in that one box. Believe it or not, they do. So uh, basic equipment such as water purification, uh, protection from the elements, from cold, and also from mosquitoes. Uh, the box can, can even be used for a number of different purposes. Mm -hmm. Tools and equipment, and even something for the kids as well. That that got me, right? You, know, I, you see that and you, you realize how many children are affected too. I know you want to go in the tent because I, I think it would be a good demonstration. This tent is huge and it all fits in the box and can, like you said, fit an extended family. Absolutely. I mean, it, it's, we want to provide equipment that uh, a family can have the sense of hope and dignity to get back on their feet again after some of the most trying times of their life. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go in the tent and unzip right. it. Now, again, this is a pretty huge tent here. I'm six foot five and I can go in and actually stand up. And something like this, can, can anyone buy this? Can people use this for, for camping? You know, uh, everything that we procure for Shelterbox, we send it directly out into the field, so we're not set up to actually sell this equipment. This tent's actually custom designed for our organization, and it can withstand 70 mile per hour winds and extreme wow. temperatures as well. And again, it's waterproof for the rains that'll be coming in as well. That's right, that's right. And you know, we're working as quickly as possible. Our first tents that are on the ground right now are actually set up at hospitals that are completely overcrowded. They're set up for triage centers and recovery centers as well. And you, your organization has been around for a few years now, and you were at the, the big typhoon uh, Hunan after that happened. Yep. So this is uh, tested. You guys have made changes over the years of what has worked and what hasn't? Absolutely. I mean, every time we come back from a deployment, we're looking at what's used, uh, what the beneficiaries like, and what uh, we can get better at. And this tent is a culmination of that. This is probably the 35th version of our tent, and even the newest version, you know, it has additional tweaks. So we believe in providing, you know, the best equipment that we can, especially, uh, you know, what the beneficiaries need, mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily what we think they need. Right. And if someone watching us wants to help out your organization, how can they do that? Well, uh, 
Organizations like ours exist only through the, the beneficiaries uh, from the donors, essentially, that, that make our work possible. Right now, we actually have uh, a donor that has agreed to match funds for all the donations that come in up to a certain amount, which is an amazing opportunity to help the families affected by Nepal and other disasters just like it. And folks can learn more at our website at shelterboxusa.org. And you guys are on Twitter as well. I follow you. All right. Alan Monroe, thank you so much uh, for being here and doing what you do. Really appreciate the opportunity. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Alan. Hey, stick around. Coming up next on Weekend Recharge, we're taking a live look at Houston right now, but also at Charleston right now. But eventually, we could see something tropical next week. That forecast coming up after your local on the eights. We all enter this world with a shout. Robert! And we see no reason to stop. So CVS Health is creating industry-leading programs and tools that help people stay on medicines as their doctors prescribed. It could help save tens of thousands of lives every year. And that would be something worth shouting about. <laughs> CVS Health. Because health is everything. Advanced Design makes it easy to protect your dog or cat from fleas and ticks. Discover Seresto. With the performance you expect from topicals in a non-greasy collar, Seresto provides protection against fleas and ticks for eight months. Seresto. When cigarette cravings hit, all I can think about is getting relief. Nicorette Mini starts to relieve sudden cravings fast, anytime, anywhere. I never know when I'll need relief. That's why I choose Nicorette Mini. Why do we do it? Why do we spend every waking moment thinking about people? Why are we so committed to keeping you connected? Why combine performance with a conscience? Why innovate for a future without accidents? Why do any of it? Why do all of it? Because if it matters to you, it's everything to us. The XC60 crossover from Volvo. We travel to connect those places separated by distance. Sometimes we measure this distance in miles. Other times, by the markers of our history. And then, there are those journeys we take to connect the greatest distance of all, the expanse between two souls, held together by the hands of time. Find something more in Illinois. I'm Sam. Jim's here as well this morning. We're all in this together. Yeah, that was pretty Yeah, awesome. that was good. And if you're watching AMHQ, then you know we got you up and out this morning. We love to see your pictures. All you gotta do is show us something that's amazing out there. Every picture you share, we'll try to share it as well. All these pictures of family, uh, I'm always hiding behind my kids. I was so frustrated because I really tried to lose weight after my second daughter was born. So I realized I gotta do something. Something had to change. Lose weight fast with Nutrisystem's Fast 5 Plus Kit. Lose five pounds in your first week, plus one inch off your waist or your money back, guaranteed. But you can't take care of your family until you take care of yourself. I'm Marie and I lost 50 pounds on Nutrisystem. My family loves it. I'm a role model for my girls. I have more energy now. I'm Melissa Joan Hart and I lost 40 pounds on Nutrisystem. It's time to take care of you. Order your 28-day Nutrisystem plan right now, including Fast 5 Plus. Plus, get one week of specially selected meals, plus one week of energizing shakes to rev your metabolism, free, and one week of craving crusher shakes to crush those cravings, free. Call Nutrisystem. Lose the weight and start feeling great. Call 888-575-SIZE right now and get Fast 5 Plus with shakes free. The Weather Channel's most watched original program. And it just hit us. Is back. This is just the beginning of what's to come. Currently in our area, 79 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, partly cloudy, high 80, winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy skies. Low, 68. Winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Sunday, partly cloudy skies. High, 79. Winds east northeast at 15 to 25 miles per hour. 
Here's our seven-day outlook. Cats and boots and cats and boots. <laughs> we got to take the music out here. And what a gorgeous Saturday we have here in Seattle. The sun is rising. Get out there and enjoy it. St. Louis, the Lou, we're heading to maybe 80 by tomorrow or Monday. The ATAL, we got Asia <laughs> Future 70s this weekend. And the NYC, we're back in the 70s. First time in a long time. Get out there and enjoy it. For first time viewers of Weekend Recharge, you've got a special Paul Goodlow today. <laughs> <laughs> it's you check your coffee. It is spring. It is <laughs> May, probably the first quiet May weather-wise yeah, we have had in this country in a long time. So we are definitely feeling the spring fever. It is time now for the seven-day stretch. We're going to stretch the segment out and get you through this week. So Saturday, right on through Friday with the weather. As you mentioned, really quiet today. Beautiful, beautiful. It's not going to be that way all week. So we want to kind of start there. Iowa, northern uh, Missouri, but you've got the bookends looking pretty good right now. Yeah, Atlanta 78 today, New York 66, Boston 57. Tomorrow's going to be warmer, looking for Sunday to push you in Boston up to 68 degrees, upper 70s in the NYC. Atlanta, talk about those 80s. There you go, 81 degrees. And you've got a smattering of showers in through the west, but it's really here in the Midwest from Wisconsin back in through Nebraska that some of them could be taken up a notch, a severe level at this point. Yeah, we're talking about damaging winds and hail, biggest threats there, but the threat can continues as we head on towards Monday. Back to work, back to school, back tracking severe weather here across areas of the Midwest, Great Lakes, Chicago, talking about you on towards Omaha, even Kansas City could see some severe weather as we head towards Monday. And where you see the showers and thunderstorms line up, You've got it right here and then through there. Those, that's where the triggers are setting up. So we have a, a stationary front, a boundary, but you're also going to have a dry line that'll become a player here uh, through the middle part of next week. And finally, it's been 180 plus days. Boston, Yay. we're getting back above 70. I think <laughs> it's one of the longest stretches they've had. Yeah, it sure sub -70. it feels that way too. So we're happy about that for sure. Let's move on towards Tuesday. We're still watching the chance for showers here across the mid-Atlantic, but Boston's still enjoying the 70s. New York City, 83 for high on Tuesday. But we are still very much focused on the severe threat. Storms become more widespread, in fact, and Mike Bettis has more on that threat. The one day I'm really focused on is Tuesday. Could be the beginning of a three-day severe weather outbreak in that typical tornado alley. Looks like everything is coming together. Good moisture flow out of the Gulf of Mexico, a low spinning out of the four corners, and a dry line setting up in West Texas. All those things spell severe weather Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. All right, thanks, Mike. Let's take a look at the maps here. Again, this is Tuesday. We move this towards Wednesday. Some of the same areas here in the middle of the nation still dealing with that chance of showers and thunderstorms. Some of those will be strong and severe. And you see, for the most part, the southeast and southwest relatively quiet. It's Pacific Northwest getting in on some showers here. So throwing some love there. 61 degrees for you, Seattle. All right, we move on towards Thursday. Well, definitely more showers continue across the middle of the nation. Scattered showers here. Dallas, 77 degrees, feeling more like a broken record. Yeah, because we have the chance of more thunderstorms as we head towards Thursday here in the Big D. So get out there and enjoy it. Yeah, this should be the driest and warmest, well, this is the driest day, the sunniest day across the Lone Star State. 73 right now, we're definitely going to push up in the 80s this afternoon. It sure looks beautiful, but yeah, so Thursday could be a big day, but we're, we can't throw out Friday too because we got to keep our eyes on what's happening there because you have that storm threat still setting up in a really similar spot all the way from, down from Texas, Louisiana, on up to Wisconsin, Michigan, and uh, Minnesota. And even though it's May, we're still talking about some mountain snow right. out there across the mm -hmm. uh, northern Rockies, northern Tetons, and Bitterroots as well, snow across the higher elevations. Meanwhile, the East Coast, Boston, yeah, 70s couldn't last too long this early in the season. 64 for your high on Friday. New York is dry and sunny to end the week. 76, Atlanta heating up 86 as we head towards the end of the week. All right, and that is your seven-day stretch. We got you ready for the weekend, the week ahead. That continues as Weekend Recharge comes back at you right after your look on the 8th. How many gallons of water does a one-inch rainfall in one square mile contain? Thank you for being a sailor and my daddy. Thank you, Mom, for protecting my future. Thank you for being my hero and my dad. Military families are thankful for many things. The legacy of USAA auto insurance could be one of them. 
Our world-class service earned USAA the top spot in a study of the most recommended large companies in America. If you're current or former military or their family, see if you're eligible to get an auto insurance quote. 17 million gallons. Anna, Tom, what can I help you find today? Uh, we are repainting, but our Guys. kids are tough on walls. Yeah. I totally get it. You need Valspar. It's our best paint. It'll stand up to the wildest play date. That is exactly what oh, we need. Do not hit your brother. Uh-uh. And you know, with the Valspar color guarantee, if you don't like the color, you get a new one free. Oh, what? Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Change color for free? We've been doing that for years. Hey, Val, check it out. Hey, Val. I see you, honey. Getting help at the paint studio at Ace is like going to your neighbor. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Advanced Design makes it easy to protect your dog or cat from fleas and ticks. Discover Soresto. With the performance you expect from topicals in a non-greasy collar, Soresto provides protection against fleas and ticks for eight months. Soresto. Hey, pal. You ready? Can you pick me up at 6.30? Ah. I'm here, I'm here. Too late. I'll go for five minutes. Ah. Move it. Killing me. You know what, Dad? I'm good. It may be quite a while before he's ready, but our Subaru Legacy will be waiting for him. The longest-lasting midsize sedan in its class. The 2015 Subaru Legacy. It's not just a sedan, it's a Subaru. Hey, big guy. I heard you lost a close one today. Look, Jamie. Maybe we weren't the lowest rate this time. But when you show people their progressive direct rate and our competitors' rates, you can't win them all. The important part is you help them save. Thanks, Flo. Okay. Let's go get you an ice cream cone, champ. The sprinkles? The sprinkles are for winners. I understand. They may claim good performance, but typically cordless vacuums deliver weak suction. The issue originates here. To make their vacuum smaller, most others make their motor smaller and less powerful. But at Dyson, we've invented the small but powerful V6 digital motor, spinning it up to 110,000 RPM, giving our latest cordless vacuums twice the suction of all others. If you take multiple medications, a dry mouth can be a common side effect. That's why there's Biotein. It comes in oral rinse, spray, or gel. So there's moisturizing relief for everyone. Biotein, for people who suffer from a dry mouth. Where you get your weather matters. This is a large and dangerous tornado. Real local. We are live in Oklahoma, Arkansas. Real accurate. This one's going to have some precipitation with it. Real experts. Wow, that's the leading edge of the thunderstorm. This is basically what makes the Weather Channel Keep the great. Weather Channel on. Here at the Weather Channel. The Weather Channel is out in full force today. Only the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 79 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, partly cloudy, high 80, winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, low 68, winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Sunday, partly cloudy skies, high 79, winds east northeast at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. All you gotta do is show us something that's amazing out there. We love to see your pictures, and every picture you share, we'll try to share it as well, right here on AMHQ.
It is 30 past the hour and you're watching Weekend Recharge. So glad you can join us on this Saturday. I'm Marie LaRosa. And I'm Paul Goodlow. As always in the Weekend Recharge, we like to see how mm -hmm. weather's impacting people in local communities as well, big and small. And one of the best ways to do that is by checking out the local newspapers. All right, so here on the front page of the Ventura Star in Ventura, California, the drought continues to be a big headline there. Ever since the governor declared a drought emergency and ordered residents to stop watering their lawns daily, many are turning to cutting out grass altogether or maybe they're putting down the synthetic fake grass so that that business is booming. Oh, big turf business. Hey, also the drought pop of the theme this morning and uh, this is the front page of the Hutchinson News out of Hutchinson, Kansas. The article is about the Kansas wheat crop and how it's deteriorating under such prolonged dry conditions. And also our last stop is here in St. Cloud, uh, Minnesota, the St. Cloud Times. And you guessed it, the article is about the drought. But in this article, while the National Weather Service says central Minnesota is in a moderate drought and the dry spring will likely damage trees, experts there say insect infestations pose the greatest threat to those stressed trees. Maria? All right, Paul, our top three stories encompasses a lot of these themes here. And we're first going to start with the warmth and the warmth on the way for a lot of places who are ready to see it. Take a look, highs 10 to 20 degrees above average from the plains to the Midwest, even on into the Northeast. Chicago, we're waiting for our first 80 of the season. Boston, we're still waiting for our first 70. You may get there close uh, to there tomorrow, but really in the next few days, it looks like that's going to happen. Meanwhile, setting the stage for another round of days upon days of severe weather uh, starting next week. Front, the moisture flow, it's all there. The triggers, all you need is that one little spark, and it looks like from uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and perhaps even into Friday, looking at that. And talking about looking at that, you see that? A low developing off the southeast coast, and that's exactly what has us really wondering whether or not this is going to become something officially tropical, Paul. And I say officially because regardless, if it's tropical, subtropical, we do think there will be impacts on the southeast coast. We definitely are watching that area for that potential maybe tropical, subtropical activity as we head into the middle and end of next week. And so it's a bit of a mystery. It could affect perhaps the Carolina coast. And joining us on the phone is Ron Morales from the National Weather Service in Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. You know, you're looking at everything that we are looking at as well. Is there something that you guys are seeing out of your office that you are pr paying particular attention to? Um, well, we're just watching the model trends over the last few days that are all pretty much showing that uh, some sort of storm will develop just north of the Bahamas uh, late, very late Tuesday night, early Wednesday, and then we're watching where that will go northward after that. And uh, Ron, no matter what it is, what about the impacts? Let's talk about impacts. What are you expecting there across uh, South Carolina? Yeah, that's right. It really doesn't matter whether it becomes tropical or not. We are concerned about uh, increasing threat for rip currents uh, as, as larger swells move in toward the coastline from the east. All right, Ron Morales out of the National Weather Service in Charleston, South Carolina. Appreciate your time, your perspective as well. We'll all be watching that really closely. Yeah, definitely have much more coming up at 50 past the hour in the complete tropical update. But right now we go from tropical weather to storms here. We have the risk of several days of severe weather. Again, starting with tomorrow, really. Might have a few scattered showers across the uh, parts of the plains, maybe parts of uh, eastern Kansas, even Missouri today. But it's the moisture flow which continues to come on in here. And our front will kind of, I wouldn't say stall out, but slowly progress. As it does so, if we're talking several days of potential severe weather starting really tomorrow in terms of damaging wind, hail, and to mention the heavy rain stretching from areas of eastern Colorado and Goodland, Kansas, all the way through Omaha, Des Moines, even down towards central areas of Wisconsin as we head towards your Sunday. Monday, we push this farther east, Indianapolis, Chicago. You're in that zone, back into Kansas City, back through Wichita, Amarillo, and the Panhandle of Texas. In fact, by Tuesday, we're seeing much of the activity here in Texas again, damaging wind, hail, and even tornadoes. In fact, we have torcons out here right now of a three in western Texas, even southeastern New Mexico. 30% chance of seeing tornadoes. Wednesday, we're still dealing with uh, the risk of severe weather, including tornadoes. We have this area stretching not only from western Texas now, but pushing up towards the western plains, back into Oklahoma back into Kansas, even areas of Nebraska could see severe weather, including damaging winds, hail, and once again, tornadoes as we head on towards the middle of next week, because this system is in no hurry to go anywhere. And we'll be on top of it for sure. Yeah. Well, you know, it's amazing out there, and the It's Amazing Out There tour is in full swing. Kate Parker, Reynolds Wolf have been traveling throughout the southern U.S., exploring some of the amazing places this country has to offer today. They have been in the swamps of Louisiana, getting an up-close look at some of the wildlife. 
You know, my friend, I think we have a, a wealth of riches out here. We have the beautiful sun, the we've got the great weather, we've got uh, a beautiful swamp, don't we? We do. It has been a gorgeous road trip so far. We started in Natchez, Mississippi, yep. and then we made our way down south. We're uh, now in the Atchafalaya Basin. It's the largest swamp in the United States. Absolutely. A very, very large swamp that sometimes is very large. Animals like very large alligators. They can get up to 18 feet. However, the ones we saw, and we did see two, Kate, not quite that big. Yeah, they may look like babies, but they're actually five or six years old. You know, they grow about a foot a year, yep. and it just gives you some depth to just how prehistoric these beasts are and how they have roamed these swamps long before we roamed the earth and uh, they grow for so long and you know we were they're enjoying the sunshine i think just as much as the wonderful folks of louisiana are yeah, absolutely you know one thing amazing about the swamp too is ten thousand years ago the mississippi river came flying right mm -hmm. through here on the way to the gulf of mexico right. now obviously it meanders through the crescent city of new orleans but still even though that is uh changed the result is timeless, timeless beauty that we find here in this beautiful swamp, and hopefully you and the rest of America have had a chance to enjoy it. It really is amazing out there. That's why we're taking you along on this weekend road trip. We continue it tomorrow Indeed. from Brobridge, Louisiana, where we are going to the Crawfish Festival. <laughs> What do you think? Do you think you can uh, make up some lost time? Yeah, I think uh, he, Reynolds lost yeah. to me in the skeet shooting contest, so we'll see if he wins. No way. <laughs> We'll see. Guys. See you guys. We're going to have a bromance in Go Bridge, <laughs> Louisiana. Uh, the forecast is great where they are right now. And tomorrow in Henderson, Louisiana, bright sunshine, mid-70s for high temps. Talk to if you're an adult with type 2 diabetes and your A1C is not at goal with certain diabetes pills or daily insulin, your doctor may be talking about adding medication to help lower your A1C. Ask your doctor if adding once a week Tansium is right for you. Once a week Tansium is an injectable prescription medicine that may improve blood sugar in adults with type 2 diabetes, along with diet and exercise. Once a week Tansium works by helping your body release its own natural insulin when it's needed. Tansium is not recommended as the first medicine to treat diabetes or in people with severe stomach or intestinal problems. Tansium is not insulin. It is not used to treat type 1 diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis and has not been studied with mealtime insulin. Do not take Tansium if you or your family have a history of medullary thyroid cancer or multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2, or if you're allergic to Tansium or any of its ingredients. Stop using Tansium and call your doctor right away if you experience symptoms of an allergic reaction, which may include itching, rash, or difficulty breathing. If you have signs of pancreatitis, such as severe stomach pain that will not go away and may move to your back, with or without vomiting. Or if you have symptoms of thyroid cancer, which include a lump or swelling in your neck, hoarseness, trouble swallowing, or shortness of breath. Tell your doctor about your medical conditions and all medicines you're taking. And if you're nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. Taking Tansium with a sulfonyl urea or insulin increases your risk for low blood sugar. Common side effects with Tansium include injections, cough, back pain, and cold or flu symptoms. Some serious side effects can lead to dehydration, which may cause kidney failure. Ask your doctor if adding once a week Tansium is right for you. Go to Tansium.com to learn if you may be eligible to receive Tansium free for 12 months. Make every week a Tansium week. Your heart is precious. One of many ways to support its health is new True Heart from Oneaday. It's the only heart health supplement with ingredients to both help lower bad cholesterol and support healthy blood pressure, and also includes CoQ10. Try new True Heart. Doers. They don't worry if something's possible. They just do it. At Sears Optical, we're committed to bringing them eyewear that works as hard as they do. Right now, save up to $200 on eyeglasses. Quality eyewear for doers. Sears Optical. Clearance weekend is happening now at Men's Warehouse. Right now, select clearance suits are only $149.99. Select clearance non-iron dress shirts are $29.99. Plus, buy one, get one free on even more. Only at Men's Warehouse. I am never getting married. Never. Guaranteed. You picked a beautiful ring. Thank you. We're never having kids. <laughs> I love it here. We are never moving to the suburbs. We are never getting one of those. We are never having another kid. I'm pregnant. 
I'm never letting go. For all the nevers in life, State Farm is there. Currently in our area, 79 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, partly cloudy, high 80, winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, low 68, winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Sunday, partly cloudy skies, high 79, winds east northeast at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Good Saturday morning to you. It's the first Saturday in May. Time to run the ponies. The Kentucky Derby post time for the big race. 624 this after the noon. I guess you can call it this evening. And the weather, fantastic. Usually we have about a 50-50 chance of seeing no rain and temperatures in the 70s on race day. And that's what we have today. We're warming up to the lower to upper 70s, mid to upper 70s this afternoon. But by race time, we're cooling off to the lower 70s. But it will stay dry all day which is fantastic. So great weather for not only spectators, but also for the track, for the racing editions, and also for the horses and jockeys. So weather should not be a limiting factor for the ride. Yeah, taking a couple of things out of that equation, right? But millions of dollars, how about, talk about numbers, right? They bet on the Derby. Lots of money at stake. Fastest two minutes in sports, in fact. Now, the odds are determined by a team of experts with decades of experience. Uh, Al Roker got a chance to go behind the scenes and learn more about the science behind horse handicapping. Days at Churchill Downs start well before dawn. Handicapper Marty McGee is up before the sun trying to get the inside track on the derby contenders who'll run the track. Are you going to give the jock any instructions? No, he's a Hall of Famer. This is Marty's 42nd consecutive derby. As a writer for the Daily Racing Forum, he's looking at all the factors that can turn a world-class racehorse into a derby champion. One of them is class, another is speed. Another's consistency. Weather is very much a factor in trying to figure out who's going to win a race. A horse's past performance weighs heavily into the odds of every race. A horse, even if it's not on the Churchill track, somewhere else has put in a, you know, a very bad performance on a wet track, then I will certainly drop them down the list. Good horses should be able to run over any kind of surfaces. Some may like it more than others, but you know, I think at this level, they better be able to handle everything. Thanks to a forecast of sun and 70s on this first Saturday in May, it's going to be a fight to the finish for one of the deepest fields of derby talent in recent history and that suits the handicappers just fine the track will be fast the sun will be out the uh, horses generally don't like it too hot and it won't be place your bets you don't have to know everything about bloodlines and pedigree even the pros sometimes just feel it basically it's a lot of intuition and hunch and getting lucky at the end i'm al roker for the weather channel because weather conditions are favorable, I'm thinking I'm just going to go with the favorites. Yeah. I'm talking about American Pharaoh mm -hmm. and uh, Dortmund, my two picks. Marty, uh, who we interviewed before, is uh, he's picking materiality to win it. But what does he know? He picked the last three of the four. And he got lucky. <laughs> just pure luck. <laughs> we trust him. Weather, weather people, meteorologist. Or a guy who's done it for 40 picker, years. Huh? <laughs> There's a better track record. Yeah, there we go. But a lot of excitement <laughs> around the Derby, of course. But a lot of it has to do with the food, working up an appetite. Churchill Downs works with about 24 local farms to make unique dishes that are being served. Executive chef David Danielson gives us a taste, starting with a roast beet salad. So let me give you a couple tips how easy this salad is to make at home. We've got a little golden and red beets. All we do, roast these in the oven until they're nice and tender. You're going to peel them. Right now, we've tossed them in a nice citrus vinaigrette, a little bit of goat cheese, some candied pecans. But anything that goes with this sweetness, once, once you roast these, you know, toss them with blue cheese or whatever you like to make that salad. Butter bean salad. So fresh butter beans, even you can get a frozen butter bean. You blanch them for about 30 seconds to a minute. 
chilling in some ice bath. Uh, we've got some fresh radishes, add some pepper to it, a little cilantro, little parsley, cumin, and a little bit of lemon oil. Uh, very, very refreshing. Really simple salad again. And our last example, this is a grain salad. So this one we've got quinoa, wheat berries, but you can use couscous, farro, any type of grains. A lot of fresh garden vegetables. We've got a little cabbage, a little kale, and just a nice light vinaigrette, something with a lot of flavor. I like to go with something less healthy, so I made you a Kentucky, Der uh, Kentucky Derby walnut pie. And it's got oh. walnuts, chocolate chips, butter, oh. sugar, a little bourbon. Oh. Or you can substitute uh, vanilla extract. What do you think? Oh, this is <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> ah. Ooh. I you do know, declare. We're back on We Can Recharge after this. This program powered by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. of the guts to stand apart. Join a league all their own. Now at Boston Market, new slow-braised pulled pork. So tender, it falls apart. Topped with zesty barbecue or garlic citrus sauce. A bold new taste from the slow-roasting experts at Boston Market. Six smoky hours, one tasty dish, slow-braised pulled pork, now at Boston Market. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, most homes have air leaks and drafts that waste so much energy, it's like leaving a window open in your home all year long. Don't let another year go by. Call Champion Windows at 844-4-CHAMPION. And right now, you can get 25% off of new windows for your home. Plus, Champion now offers no money down, no payments, and no interest for 12 months. So call 844 for champion today, because every home needs a champion. My budget was always second-guessing me when I'd buy stuff for the family. Finger hut, finger hut, finger hut. Just click on over to fingerhut.com to get the credit you deserve and great stuff for your family. Oh, not finger hut. Today, I'm going to fight hunger. Today, I don't want to be hungry. We just have to buy food. My family gets the food we need. I'm so glad we could help. I'm so glad someone helped. Hunger lives closer than you think. Purchase participating items at Walmart and you can help secure a meal for someone through Feeding America Food Banks. The Weather Channel's most watched original program. And it just hit us. Is back. This is just the beginning of what's to come. Xfinity sales professionals are always on the go, meeting new people every day. They're helping families get the latest Xfinity products and services. And they're making customers happy. Jumpstart your career with the best sales training in the industry. Great benefits like discounts on your own Xfinity services and the potential for high earnings. Have what it takes? Apply today and see what doors open for you. Welcome to Strength and Performance from Cub Cadet, the proven innovator of award-winning zero-turn riders. Welcome to efficient zero-turn performance with the ease of steering wheel control and an advanced cutting system delivering beautiful results every time. Welcome to Strongsville. Experience the strongest lineup of zero turns in the business. Visit your local Cub Cadet dealer today, where you'll find exceptional financing for a limited time. Currently in our area, 79 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, partly cloudy, high 80, winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. 
tonight. Partly cloudy skies. Low 68. Winds northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Sunday, partly cloudy skies. High 79. Winds east northeast at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Welcome back to We Can Recharge. You never want to bring a pie to a TV <laughs> studio because it's gone The now. vultures descend. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That's why I don't have a camera on us right now because they're busy <laughs> eating pie. Hey, we got cameras though in Virginia Beach. We got uh, Nags Head, North Carolina, Key West, South Carolina, all areas that got impacted by the coastal low. That's pushing away. Gorgeous weekend, but... We're looking for something brewing in the Atlantic, which could bring more rain and wind their way later on this week. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a wake-up call because you see beautiful scenes like that. You don't want to be thinking about tropical trouble, but that's what we're here for. We're thinking about it for you. So let's get you kind of up to date of what we know now and why this might be a little bit tricky down the road. So uh, we're going to look at all of the factors, all the ingredients that we see that may be leading to some development. So we're going to start way upstairs at the jet stream, marginal for tropical development. What that means is yeah, it's a little favorable. We don't have strong, strong winds that could potentially tear anything that's trying to develop up. Then you go a little bit lower, kind of middle level, and you try and find some spin. Well, we've got that going uh, again as we get from Tuesday, Wednesday, and it's a Thursday. That's this spot right there with that upper level low moving in. Then we're going to see if there's anything responding to all that at the surface. And there we go, a developing low pressure. We have forecasts for Wednesday and into Thursday. If there's anything that could limit it, well, sometimes cool water can certainly shut down tropical development. That's not really there. We have water temperatures, sea surface temperatures into the upper 70s. Not super, super ideal, but it's not cold enough where it's going to be enough to shut anything down. And then we have a couple of other ingredients, a couple of other factors that may help it along. And believe it or not, it's actually we're actually looking to fronts. We have a cold front moving south. We also have a stationary front. And when you're looking at the beginning and the end of a tropical season, a lot of times you can get little waves to start on these fronts that move that far south. And so that's what we think is going to happen here. You have plenty of moisture there. All it takes is a little ripple to kind of start that area of low pressure to, to develop. And then as it moves to the north, that's where things could get a little interesting. One model, uh, the GFS having it a little bit weaker uh, off the southeast coast. Meanwhile, the Euro is a little bit stronger. Regardless, the placement is somewhat similar. They, they all have the same idea of uh, tropical low pressure developing off the southeast coast. Whether or not it's technically subtropical, that's a whole nother level. But it is seemingly an early start, but actually that's not out of the norm either to get a few seasons where it starts early. Take a look. The most recent early storms, Tropical Storm Alberto and Beryl, both formed mid to late May back in 2012. Interestingly enough, we get a tropical or subtropical storm once every three years prior to June 1st. So again, three years ago, 2012 is when we had uh, Beryl and Alberto. And take a look at some of the uh, storm tracks. You had Tropical Storm Alberto uh, in late May southeast coast but then moved off into the Atlantic and look at Burl you had late May southeast coast that one moved inland so again doesn't happen often but it can and if you're interested in some of the names on this year's list number one would be Anna so there you go 2015 storm names much more ahead on weekend recharge stick around this program brought to you by John Deere nothing runs like a deer wouldn't buy a car without taking it for a spin. And it's, well, just a car. Test drive our full lineup only at your local John Deere dealer. Next. Expected wait time, 55 minutes. Your call is important to us. Thank you for your patience. In the nation, we know how it feels when you aren't treated like a priority. We do things differently. We'll take care of it. We put members first. Thank you. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. Your heart is precious. One of many ways to support its health is new True Heart from Oneaday. It's the only heart health supplement with ingredients to both help lower bad cholesterol and support healthy blood pressure, and also includes CoQ10. 
Try new True Heart. This allergy season, will you be a sound sleeper or a mouth breather? We'll put on a Breathe Right strip and instantly open your nose up to 38% more than allergy medicines alone so you can breathe and sleep. Shut your mouth and sleep right. Breathe Right. Making a fist. Something we do to show resolve. To defend ourselves. To declare victory. That's how you do it. So CVS Health provides expert support and vital medicine. Make a fist for me. At our infusion centers or in patients' homes. We help them fight the good fight. CVS Health. Because health is everything. That's looking good. So we build things to harness it. That's awesome. They hit the water. Game on. Up here in Southeast Alaska, no scratch, the last line up at fence. This is about how far you can push yourself. Welcome back to Weekend Recharge. We're going to wrap it up with the wonder of weather, some of the wonderful images that we see out there that uh, definitely have weather connections, like uh, this first one from beautiful Mount Washington, New Hampshire, where currently it's 37 <laughs> degrees out there in the um, presidential range, but we're going to see some, some 60s up there soon. You know, and, and that's part of the story, too. You see the fair skies, so getting a nice little break. You do have the chance for showers back in there on Sunday, tomorrow. Temps into the 50s, by the way, the presidential range in view there uh, looking to the north and then always one of my favorite cameras to check in on the Great Smoky Mountain National Park webcam 67 degrees right there in beautiful eastern Tennessee sunshine today some mostly cloudy skies tomorrow we're gonna keep an eye on that storm chance for you though on Monday high temperatures will be into the mid 70s and let's talk about the mammatus clouds here in Texas. Again, you see this, just the turbulent atmosphere uh, after, even sometimes before thunderstorms. And this shot is over Fort Worth. You can see it looks like a very turbulent sky there. Too bad it wasn't in motion, but you can definitely see sometimes the rolling of these clouds. But it's not just uh, witnessed in uh, Texas. Mm -hmm. We've got this beautiful shot from North Carolina. And as you mentioned, uh, one of those signs of severe weather and still a bit of a mystery of exactly how these go. Um, but you know when you see them that the rough weather has already moved through in some areas. Yeah, another shot there nearby in Virginia. Also, the modest clouds about 10 miles east of uh, Roanoke there. So uh, it's definitely, we had storms all week long. We're just happy that today is Saturday. We're not really seeing uh, that as a risk today at all. And oh, look at this shot. Is that unbelievable? Amazing picture. This one out of Virginia uh, of Mammatus Clouds. Pretty classic. I mean, you want to talk about what you envision when you hear Mammatus Clouds. This is it. And by the way, we're going to talk with the uh, Cloud Appreciation Society tomorrow. I'm so excited about this because who else wouldn't love and appreciate clouds more than meteorologists? If you've ever seen like a hole punch cloud, we're going to talk about that. So cool. Tomorrow. Yeah, but first we're going to. A lot of stuff going on today. Get of some sugar high going. Kentucky Derby. What's the official name of this? So okay, so you can't call it Derby Pie because that's trademark. So it's Kentucky Derby Walnut Pie. I made this uh, for you because I know you have your sweet little sweet tooth. Yes. Um, but it's sugar, flour, butter, um, walnuts, chocolate chips, and you can see it's and almost a little gone. hint of bourbon if you want. It's almost gone because. You don't bring food on TV station. We have people lined up here. <laughs> we got whipped cream, though. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> have a great day. <laughs>
Hope you're having a great start to your Saturday. Want to bring you up to date on some showers moving through north of Kansas City between Kansas City and Omaha and in, into Des Moines. Moving off to the east, a little bit of lightning associated with it, some locally heavy rainfall, nothing severe. However, just want to point out that off to the west we have some clearing skies, getting some sunshine in there, and that may add to some of the instability that's going to be developing later today. So wouldn't be surprised to see maybe some gusty winds, brief gusty winds, maybe some hail, nothing crazy, but just a heads up from South Dakota on into Nebraska. Nebraska. The setup is there for more severe weather as we get into the early part of next week. That moisture flow returns. The dry line begins to become a player again in Texas. And then that stationary front that will lead to several days of showers and thunderstorms from the plains on into the Midwest. Starting tomorrow, heads up from Wisconsin back in through Kansas, Goodland, Des Moines, and Madison. Watch for damaging winds and spotty hail. And then by Monday, stretching all the way back into Texas with a tornado threat as well. Highway to hell next. This time on Highway Through Hell. A record setting load. And a high tech recovery. Both highways are going to be shut down. We keep going. Choke off the route to the north. It's going to be enough there. What have we got here? A simple job for Colin. Release all your brakes. Turns into a marathon. Okay, go ahead. And a loaded semi. It's coming. It's going to go here. On a narrow curve. Watch yourself. Cuts it close for Jamie. On the highway through hell, the last line of defense is a heavy rescue team ready to tackle any disaster because closure is not an option. It's 11.10 p.m. And truckers in northern Alberta are facing another night of brutal conditions. Yeah, it looks like they had a lot of snow down here. Yeah, they're calling for like 20 centimeters or something tonight. Minus 40 winds and heavy snow are blasting the oil patch. We got snow squalls in with that wind. It's chaos out here turning the roads into an ugly mix of snow and ice. All the driving lanes are totally covered in snow there. I'm driving between 70 and 80 kilometers an hour because it's just that slick out here. You know, the road is just shining with ice. North of Lac La Biche, Peace Officer Larry Baker is on the lookout for trouble on the highways. Uh, in the wintertime, we can go from sheer black ice to uh, complete white oak conditions. You can go from a bone dry road to two inches thick of snow, all within the matter of seconds on any of these highways out here. Go ahead. Just after midnight, Officer Baker gets a call. Roll over on Highway 881. 10-4. Caller stated that they're hauling radioactive material. Yeah, just to confirm, you guys are just past uh, Golden Sands turn off. Just as you're going to turn right, you can feel there, you won't miss it. Copy that. The truck is a mobile lab that uses a radioactive isotope to analyze rock in oil and gas fields. There's only two seats and there are three guys. Whoever was in the back really would have gone for a ride. Fortunately, the driver and passengers walked away, but everyone is on edge there's still a small amount of radioactive material on board. We're not too keen on that, but uh, we'll approach cautiously and see what we got. Heavy rescue swampers Kevin Ritchie and Jamie McKelsey have never faced this kind of wreck. How close is it, Kevin? I'm not sure, but it ain't gonna turn my hair green because I ain't gonna get that close if I don't need to be. Not a boring business by no means. Uh, the junction, then? Yeah, 10-4. There's always something going on and the challenges it, it brings. It was a heavy piece of iron that rolled five times. I was like, holy, I'm lucky the guy didn't uh, kill himself. Yeah. Where did he go through? 
right there. So it was definitely mangled. There was parts all over the place. Just like a battle zone there. The truck missed a stop sign, made a hard left, ran off the road and slammed into the ditch, rolling five times. Just heads up, toes here, and the Geiger counters arrived as well. Within minutes of the crash, a safety team is on scene to confirm there are no leaks. Big companies in Alberta take emergency response training and safety very seriously. Dave, do you get those details about radioactive material on that vehicle? It sounds like it's still intact. There's no screwing around when it comes to a big wreck. What they're doing is just to make sure that the radiation levels that are acceptable that come out of the vehicle on a normal basis are still there. The truck is built to contain the small amount of isotope in a secure compartment. It did the job. There are no leaks. Matt, they do have a reading outside the vehicle, but it's within accessible levels. With no risk from exposure, Heavy Rescue gets to work. It's deep, eh? We're gonna try and flip over and bring it up, but it's gonna be a bit. So, Jane goes through again, thing. as usual. All right. As long as it's nothing harmful at the moment, that's all I care about. It's here. Perfect. Adam needs to position at a right angle to the wreck, closing down both lanes of the highway. Did uh, the tow company give you an idea? One hour, two hours, eight hours? Got the vehicle on cable, drop the truck now, get ready to put the